guys. I hope you all enjoyed your Christmas. I know I did, but today I'm here at this beautiful tree house behind me. And as you can see, it snowed last night. That provided a lot of beautiful footage and it really makes this tree house fit in its environment. It's located basically in the middle of nowhere. There's trees everywhere. And with the fresh snow, it makes this place look very beautiful and very cozy and homey. Welcome everybody that's new to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and like and share this video. So let's get on with this tree house. I'll leave a link to everything involving this tree house down in the description if you want to book here or to come check it out. I highly suggest it. It's located in Hawking Hills, Ohio. And if you want to get away and be secluded and just disconnect from the world, this is a great place to do that. It's also very beautiful. This is a tree house, so there's not a single part of it that's touching the ground, which is really cool. This is what the underside looks like, but the wood on the outside is very beautiful and the design of this tree house is very exquisite there's lots of curves and angles it's basically been turned into a piece of art you walk up to the front door of this tree house and to the left you can see an outdoor shower clearly for the spring or summertime if you like showering outside but you can walk in the front door right here or if you just keep walking around to the deck which connects to the back deck which is probably where you will spend a lot of your time there's a big table out here that fits the environment and some chairs you even got some grilling utensils out here and then when you walk down to the deck you're greeted to the beautiful wood burning hot tub right here it's really large it fits two people really easily and if you don't know how to use one of these they'll show you whenever you arrive i didn't know how to use this whenever i got here we just put the wood right here it burns there's water in this canister right here that gets hot and it like recycles the water in the hot tub i believe i didn't quite understand it but i think that's the gist of it so if it starts to get too high you can just close this valve and it shuts off the fire and you can enjoy your nice hot tub which overlooks this beautiful ravine the landscape around this treehouse is very very beautiful so it's very bliss whenever you're enjoying your hot tub in the night or in the summer or even in the winter I got in it and it was super nice and then whenever you walk up to the upper deck that connects to the master bedroom you have a few chairs right here if you like to get up early in the morning come outside drink some coffee or just enjoy your time outside so there's basically three levels of decking on this home which looks really cool for photos or just for whatever you want to do up the driveway a little bit is a nice fire pit with some chairs if you like to sit around the fire and enjoy your time there they provide this for you anyways let's check out the inside we'll walk in the front door so when you walk in the front door you're greeted by the living area and the kitchen. Now the living area is very large for this small tree house. This tree house is designed for basically a couple because there's only one bedroom, but the living and kitchen area is very large and can see more than just two people. So you got this couch that folds out into a bed if you do decide to bring other people, but if not, you can just keep the couch as is with this beautiful coffee table that kind of matches the table outside. They provide some snacks for you as well right here. There's also another rocking chair right here for more seating. You can move it wherever you want. And right next to that couch is this bookshelf, which provides a lot of games and things to do because you probably won't get service out here for your phone so you're just disconnected and forced to interact with the people you are around which is super cool and this living room does face the kitchen so in the kitchen it is pretty large you got all the amenities you need it is nicely well crafted and done i love the cabinets that fit the treehouse vibe and there's lots of cabinets as well it also provides all the utensils you need for cooking or just for staying here and they didn't really cheap out with anything here it's all really nice stuff you got a microwave you got a nice sink you got a little mini fridge you got a stove top back here in the corner tucked away. I don't think little kids could really reach that if you are deciding to bring kids. And you got a little toaster oven over here. You got some shelves above that that have all of your bowls and cups. And over to the left, you do have a little tiny TV. If you do like to watch TV at night, you can check out Netflix or something like that. But over to the left of this, I think is a really cool aspect of this home is this curved bench seating area. The table is a tree cookie, just like every other table in this home. And it can fit a lot of people in this little curved area. So if you decide to eat dinner or play games around this, you can all just tuck away in this little area and just enjoy your time. I think it's really cool and adds a good detail to the home. Also connecting to the living room is the sliding door to lead out to the deck. You can have these curtains open during the day. You can see everything thing and just lets in a lot of natural light or you can close them at night so you just in case you think people are looking inside which they probably won't be in the middle of nowhere but you can close them anyways now if we take a step back the first door when you walk in is a sliding barn door which leads to the bathroom this bathroom is very beautiful and is pretty spacious they provide a lot of towels and amenities you need for a bathroom it's large it's really nice and really clean the shower is super cool and nicely done it's very modern and very sleek and i like it a lot 
lot. There's actually some sink space right here to lay some stuff. A lot of times in tiny houses, they don't have that. So this place does, and I like that a lot. So if we take a step out there, you can see the spiral staircase that leads up to the bedroom. But right under that, it's kind of like a little mini storage area with some cleaning supplies. You can put your shoes right here, and you can just store a lot of stuff right here that you don't really want out in the open. I think that is super cool. But if we head up the spiral staircase, which is really aesthetically nice, it has a rope handle that leads all the way up to it. And it's a little tight, so it kind of gives you that more cozy vibe unless you are claustrophobic. But we finally get up to the master suite. Now there's windows on every side of this room so you can look out into the beautiful ravine, the wilderness, and of course, if it snows, you can see all of that and it's really beautiful. This is a queen size bed, plenty of space right underneath it. It has some drawers to put all your luggage in or your clothes. There's plenty of storage for that. There's also drawers on this wall as well to pull out. And these drawers actually don't take up any space since they're in the wall. So there's a lot of storage here. And there's also this little cubby back here that you can put a lot more stuff. You can put blankets, they have towels here, but you can just put all your luggage back here if you wanted to, have some storage as well back there, which is really nice. They use this upper space very well and effectively. Right here is the door that leads out to the upper deck that we were talking about. This room is super cool and lets in a lot of natural light. And it's really nice to sleep up here, open up the windows during the summer, and just listen to everything that's going on outside. So this treehouse is clearly very, very beautiful. Uh, you can walk around the whole property and this treehouse just looks beautiful wherever you go. Having it perched up on these trees is really nice. These owners also have several other tree houses on this massive property. They're all kind of surrounding this ravine that goes down and just gives a lot of natural beauty. They have a lot of different ones. Some are bigger, some are just different styles. So if you bring a lot more people, you can choose a different one. But I chose this one because I thought it looked the best and it just fit my aesthetic. So I will leave all the links down in the description below. Comment what your favorite part of this video was. I really like tree houses, so I'm glad I got to come out and look, check this one out. I give this home an A+, highly suggest it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. Continue to support my channel. I love doing these. I'm glad you guys are really enjoying these videos. Thank you so much. If you have an Airbnb or just a really cool home that you live in and you think it deserves to be shown off, contact me down below is my email and we'll work something out because I love exploring new homes, especially whenever the home kind of turns into a piece of artwork. So I'll be looking forward to your message and checking out your home. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next week and happy new year.